On the eve of Halloween, we welcome you to Monday Night Raw in Dublin, Ireland, where tonight the Intercontinental Championship is at stake as LA Knight defends the gold against the man who's been hot on his heels, Sami Zayn. And also tonight here in Dublin, it is the kickoff to the Deadly Games Eliminator, Bobby Lashley out. One of these six superstars will be in the challenge Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series. Coming up in moments, Kevin Owens, Solo Sokoa, the man responsible for this Deadly Games Eliminator, and a man returning home in the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Those three men set to do battle in mere seconds on Raw, but coming up in your main event, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa, Karrion Cross. A lot of interesting situations in this matchup, especially regarding Ciampa and Cross and their street fight last week in London, England. We welcome you to the Three Arena here in Dublin, Ireland for this special Monday Night Raw Halloween edition on the eve of Halloween. And we are set to kick off the Deadly Games Eliminator, who's moving one step closer to Survivor Series. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds. Kevin the Deadly Games Eliminator, very simple rules. We have two triple threat matches taking place tonight on Raw. The winners of these matches are going back to the States and they will meet each other this Saturday night in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the special Saturday night's main event live special, which will again be live this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Who will be the two men competing for Monday Night Raw to possibly challenge Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship on November the 19th at Survivor Series. Kevin Owens looks locked and loaded, but this is not gonna be an easy battle as he's got two bulls approaching the ring. And his opponents, first from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo. Well, let's take you back to how we got to this Deadly Games Eliminator last week. Bobby Lashley in the middle of a WWE.com interview earlier in the day in London when he was ambushed by the street champ, Solo Sokoa. And watch this, Lashley sit off that ledge through the table. This was, of course, just less than 24 hours after Lashley had defeated Brock Lesnar at Clash at the Castle. We learned through Triple H that Bobby Lashley suffered some fractured ribs, will not be able to compete at Survivor Series, and is on the shelf for the time being. And again, it is all because of the street champ, Solo Sokoa. We're gonna talk all about how we got here throughout this matchup. Well, again, we are in the three arena in Dublin, Ireland. A massive ovation for the man coming home. The Celtic Warrior! Sheamus is back in the house tonight on Raw! And representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! It is fight night here on Raw Halloween, and all roads lead to November the 19th, Madison Square Garden, New York City for the 2023 edition of Survivor Series. And who is gonna move one step closer to battling Seth Rollins for the WWE title? As we know, Sheamus, back-to-back -back months, has been involved with some absolute wars with the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. As latest as eight nights ago in Cardiff, Wales, an epic last man standing matchup between those two men that of course Rollins was able to survive. Nonetheless, here we go. Kevin Owens, Sol Sokoa, and Sheamus live and in living color here at the Three Arena in Dublin, Ireland. 
One of these men will fight the winner of tonight's main event, whether it be Karrion Cross, Tommaso Ciampa, or Shinsuke Nakamura, live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this Saturday night at Saturday night's main event. Of course, the winner of that match will fight Rollins November the 19th in Madison Square Garden. A lot of interesting situations regarding this Deadly Games Eliminator, and especially in the triple threat matches themselves. You look at Sol Sokoa, the man who was responsible for this Deadly Game Eliminator. We caught up with Solo briefly last week in the backstage area, who basically said he took out Bobby Lashley because Lashley was at the front of the line for the WWE Championship, an opportunity that the street champ wants for himself. He's tired of waiting in line. He has taken his opportunity, and Solo went right to the head and took out the Almighty. We also speculated last week that the whole reason Solo Sokoa was placed into this Deadly Game Eliminator after being the cause of needing a new number one contender was basically to make sure Solo isn't causing any more havoc in the backstage area. Certainly a bit of a criminal way to get what you want, but nonetheless, Solo's got his opportunity tonight. He better capitalize on it. And again, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, who has been engulfed in wars with Seth freaking Rollins back in September at Unforgiven, eight nights ago at Clash at the Castle. Unfortunately, came up short in both of those encounters, but maybe the luck of the Irish will be on Sheamus' side, not just tonight, but possibly if he can make it to November the 19th. Maybe a third time will be a charm if Sheamus fights Seth Rollins in Madison Square Garden. And what about the prize fighter, Kevin Owens? He's been really turning over a new leaf on Monday Night Raw as of late, taking care of his problems the old school way, in the ring, searching for victory, and has really started to regain the admiration from the WWE Universe. Owens has been on a bit of a hot streak as of late on Raw. Just last Monday night, him and Sami Zayn defeating The Miz and the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight in tag team action. Kevin Owens, I'm sure, would love his shot to become WWE Champion. He had one earlier this year, passed through his fingers, but maybe with this new leash on his career, Kevin Owens can find a way to take down Rollins at Survivor Series. All remains to be seen. First, you gotta get through this triple threat matchup. Then you gotta get through the special Saturday night's main event, live this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's Kevin Owens taking out Solo Sokoa. Just three heavyweights throwing sluggers in this matchup. And again, it is going to be a big night as we continue on with our two-week international tour. We are in week two, three arena, Dublin, Ireland. It's going to be an epic night here on Raw Halloween. The Intercontinental Championship set to be defended. LA Knight puts the gold up against Sami Zayn, the man who has been hot on his tail over the last month and change here on Monday Night Raw. And again, carrying Cross, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa meet in the second triple threat later tonight in the Deadly Games Eliminator. And there's a lot of action to keep up with in this matchup. Every man throwing lefts, throwing rights, just trying to knock their opponents out. It's one pinfall to a finish here, no elimination style, so it can be very interesting to see who's going to be the cause and therefore the effect of two men's Survivor Series opportunity going up in smoke. Really hard to get the momentum in this kind of matchup as well. Once you think you got it, your other opponent comes up from behind, just like Kevin Owens tried to do that time. However, Sheamus had it scouted. Look out below. Big time maneuver by Sheamus. A little white noise on Kevin Owens. But Owens survives. Close call there. Wait a minute, Solsakoa. Pop-up Samoan drop to the Celtic Warrior. And with Owens on his feet, Solo turns his attention to the prize fighter. However, nobody home. And again, we are right back to where we were moments ago. Bodies flying left and right. And now it's Kevin Owens temporarily, the only man standing. And who is going to get the upper hand in this matchup? Kevin Owens and Sheamus, they almost unintentionally better be thanking. Wait a minute. Solo Sokoa, but hold that thought. A bro kick. Catches Owens off guard, but Kevin Owens survives. Close call there. This matchup nearly coming to a close. The bro kick out of nowhere. A little bit early on in this contest, though. Owens not done fighting just yet. Matchup keeps on moving forward. As we're about to mention, wait a minute, Sheamus rolling up Kevin Owens. Will that do it now? Sheamus, Kevin Owens, really every man in this Deadly Games Eliminator 
Almost better be thanking Sol Sokoa in a sense for opening up this opportunity to possibly challenge Seth Rollins at Survivor Series. Look at Owen starting to take charge. Big time senton since the Celtic Warrior reeling for a moment and Solo catching Owen's lackey once more. Man, this has been a hell of a way to kick off Raw Halloween. Halloween week, it's been an epic weekend here in the WWE. What about SmackDown Halloween this past Friday with the United States title on the line, the World Heavyweight title on the line, Gunther coming face to face with Drew McIntyre. What an epic night that was in London, England this past Friday night. Now we're here in Dublin tonight. This Friday we conclude our international tour in Glasgow, Scotland. Right now, Sol Sokoa looking to squeeze the life out of the Celtic Warrior with this bear hug here. Solo opened up the window of opportunity, but will he climb through it? And Sheamus throwing some stiff shots. Now close the doors on the ears of Solo Sokoa, and now Sheamus trying to take Solo to the air, not just yet. Those two heavyweights slugging it out. Kevin Owens getting caught in the crossfire that time. And Solo getting hung up in the top rope. And you gotta believe Seth Rollins is watching this thing, and even weeks out from Survivor Series, just wants to see every man in this Deadly Games Eliminator just absolutely beat the hell out of each other. Solo gets sent to the outside. Second bro kick by Sheamus. Just like that, out of nowhere, Sheamus picks up the victory in the Deadly Games Eliminator. Well, Solo Sokoa thought he had his chance, thought he opened up the window of opportunity, unfortunately fails to climb through it. Sheamus takes the fullest advantage, and Sheamus is moving on to the finals this Saturday night in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! An epic homecoming victory for the Celtic Warrior here tonight at the Three Arena. But Sheamus will be taking the flight from Dublin all the way to Milwaukee as he challenges either Shinsuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa, or Karrion Cross this Saturday night to challenge Seth Rollins on November the 19th at Survivor Series. It's a rare Saturday Night production, featuring some of the best from Raw and SmackDown. It's coming your way Saturday, November the 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The Road to Survivor Series will make a pit stop in Milwaukee for the return of Saturday Night's main event. Don't miss this exciting night of action, live November 4th at Saturday Night's main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Well, it is time to decide the Intercontinental Championship here on Raw Halloween. And here comes the challenger. And if you open up your ears, it sounds like Sami Zayn has a little bit of a return to form tonight. Maybe Kevin Owens isn't the only one, not only turning over a new leaf, but ready to handle their business inside of the squared circle. Worlds apart from the States to Dublin, Ireland. Sami Zayn is here tonight on Raw Halloween, and he's looking to leave the three arena as the new Intercontinental Champion. Remember Sami Zayn, a part of a triple threat match last month at Unforgiven with LA Knight and Cedric Alexander for the Intercontinental Championship. But Sami Zayn, not pinned in that matchup, didn't whine, didn't complain, but did bring up the point that even though LA Knight walked away from Chicago on that night, still holding the gold, Sami Zayn wanted a one-on-one -on -one affair. Let's see if LA Knight can get the job done when there's no distractions inside of the squared circle. And speaking of the devil, the Intercontinental Champion, the Defiant, LA Knight makes his way down the aisle of the three arena. During his Intercontinental Championship reign, LA Knight has put aside Ilya Dragunov. Not once, 
but twice he took down Cedric Alexander back in August at SummerSlam. As we just mentioned, back in Unforgiven in Chicago, LA Knight with the triple threat victory over Zayn and Alexander pinning Cedric on that night. And just eight nights ago at Clash at the Castle, LA Knight retaining that championship that is around his waist over the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. But it's one-on-one -on -one tonight. Sami Zayn has been hot on the heels of LA Knight waiting for an Intercontinental Championship match. Alongside Kevin Owens, the KO and Sami show have been building a lot of steam here on Monday Night Raw. Kevin Owens unable to capitalize in your opening bout, but maybe Sami Zayn can bring some good fortune back to that locker room. Intercontinental Gold's on the line. Let's set things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. Well, here we go. The stage is set. Three Arena, Dublin, Ireland, Raw, Halloween. Intercontinental Championship is on the line as L.A. Knight possibly hands over the gold for the very last time in this championship reign. Sami Zayn has been desiring that Intercontinental Championship, but will he bring it home tonight? That is what it's all about, the gold hoisted above the ring, but we're gonna need a one, two, or a three to score a finish this evening. Champion and challenger look locked and loaded, and LA Knight better be ready, because Sami Zayn is certainly gonna put his best foot forward. And speaking of the such, LA Knight literally putting his best foot forward right there off the bell with the big boot. Went for the pinfall, trying to get this thing done early. Sami Zayn is going to come for a fight of his life tonight. He has been waiting for this one-on-one -on -one match for several weeks against LA Knight and last week's tag team victory alongside Kevin Owens defeating Knight and The Miz, certainly putting Zayn at the front of the line for the Intercontinental Championship. Zayn off the drop kick. Pinfall situation here. Going to take a lot more to keep the champion down. You might not like LA Knight. Maybe a loud mouth for what we hear in the locker room. A lot of superstars rubbed the wrong way by the defiant Knight, but at the end of the day, he has produced results, especially over the last few months. 2023 has been a coming out party for the defiant Knight, starting his WWE main roster career on SmackDown late last year, getting drafted to Monday Night Raw just weeks after he went one-on-one -on -one with the great one, The Rock, back at WrestleMania. And ever since then, he has been climbing the ranks of the Red Brand, all the way to winning the Intercontinental Championship this past summer. Sami Zayn looking to spoil the championship desires of the Defiant Knight tonight. So far, looking good in this match. LA Knight kicks out again. And I don't think Sami Zayn is thinking he's going to get the victory here, but I think he's trying to get in the psyche of LA Knight. Letting... LA Knight know that Sami is on his back tonight. He better bring his A game. Sami Zayn is ready to take fullest advantage of this opportunity, especially any second the opportunity opens up in this match. It's a nice counter by the champion that time, but again, not taking advantage and leaving Sami Zayn wide open into the cover there, not just yet. It's the second time already in this match that LA Knight took out Sami and did not keep the pressure on. Looking to do just that as Sami Zayn rolls to the outside, creating some distance here. With the champion on his tail and keeping it simple with a suplex, but the landing worse for wear by Sami Zayn. On the outside, not going to do the challenger any good. So you get back inside the ring, but Sami Zayn has got his foot on the gas pedal tonight. Laser focused, tornado DDT, big time maneuver by Zayn. LA Knight. He better have done his homework, because Sami Zayn, I'm sure, is coming into this match with an A plan, a B plan, C, all the way to Z, looking to get the Intercontinental Championship around his waist. Champion is down on the outside, looking to be on roller skates as Sami Zayn through the ropes with a tope suicida. Shot out like a cannon as Sami Zayn, the challenger, lays out the champion.
LA Knight showed a few signs of life so far, but this has been all Sami Zayn for the majority of this championship match. LA Knight's got to get some offense rolling here. There you go. There's an elbow by the champion. LA Knight better not underestimate Sami Zayn. I don't believe he would, however, with that triple threat victory over Zayn and Alexander last month at Unforgiven. You gotta wonder if LA Knight believes this match is already in the books. Man, every time LA Knight tries to go for something, Sami Zayn's right there to cut off his momentum. There's a counter right there, but the champion, a nice float over takeover. Into the cover. Getting the two count one step closer that time, but the great liberator, as they once called him, is still in this match. Sami Zayn has held the Intercontinental Championship in the past, but he's looking to do it again here on Monday Night Raw. Can he bring home the gold? LA Knight now sat atop the ropes, not where he wants to be, especially by force of this challenger, nice Frankensteiner. Sami Zayn leaving the champion near dead center of the canvas, and now scales the opposite end. From the heavens with a big time splash. Will that do it? Not just yet, one step closer again, but it's only a two as LA Knight survives. Sami Zayn putting together a little bit of a combination there off the Frankensteiner and the splash from the top. But now this time, elects for the cross body to the outside of the squared circle. The champion is down. LA Knight is hurt. And Sami Zayn, 100 miles an hour right now, sits down with it and a big time mood salt to the outside. Acai variation, and the Intercontinental Champion, dare I say, is in trouble tonight. I think it's safe to say that LA Knight may not have been tested this much in his Intercontinental Championship reign just yet. And not able to get the three count there. But Sami Zayn's got to believe in his heart of hearts that he is getting a little bit closer each and every pinfall. The championship may be nearing a new holder tonight. And LA Knight. Now or never. Desperation counter there. And he's able to take out Zayn momentarily. Well, now mean shot to the face. Nothing pretty about it. And LA Knight going for the kill. Burning hammer. Dead center of the squared circle. And not done just yet. And with a counter by Zayn. Zayn is not allowing LA Knight to build that offense. He is absorbing the punishment tonight. Willing to just deal with it tomorrow type mentality. All in the means of leaving as the Intercontinental Champion. These two men going counter for counter right now. Who's going to get the stranglehold on the momentum? LA Knight has used that takeover as a crutch of... Really a change of offense in this matchup, but can he finally capitalize into a cover? And Sami Zayn again is still in this match. And LA Knight now trying to turn up the volume. Rev up the engines as the champion. Dropping the elbow on Sami Zayn. Could be looking to make it a dose. That time he does. And Zayn is now the one on retreat. Rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance, get a chance to breathe, rest and recuperate in this match. Again, the Intercontinental Champion really giving Sammy some time right there. Just a couple of seconds, which sometimes is all you need to try to rest up. But now Sami Zayn sent right into the barrier. Just crushing the life out of the challenger that time. Sent back inside the ring. And now it's Sami Zayn, the one struggling to get to the soles of his boots. Knight goes for a shot. Another reversal by Sami. Reversal by LA Knight. Back on the shoulders and a second burning hammer. This time into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? Sami Zayn is still alive. Zayn is still in this match. And now Knight has got his eyes locked. Could be looking for a BFT. Oh, but Sami Zayn did his homework and saw it coming from a mile away. And there's the dragon screw to take down the champion. Pop up, drop kick. Sami Zayn had his back up against the wall a moment ago off that second burning hammer. Can he fight out? But LA Knight, look at this, turning the tides on the challenger. 
not allowing the momentum to begin to be built all over again in this match. Had Zayn up against the wall, trying to keep him there, figuratively and literally now. Zayn is in the corner. The Intercontinental Champion wasn't able to hit that BFT a few moments ago. Sami Zayn did his homework, had it scouted. Gonna have to resort to some different tricks in the playbook. That was a sly way to get into that Boston Crab right there. And he's got it wrenched in tight. Look at the torque on it. Really sitting down deep. Zayn is gonna feel this in his lower back. And Sammy is dead center of the squared circle. He's got a scratch and claw trying to get to the ropes or try to alleviate the pressure. And able to get out of it that time. Great roll reversal there. Now the challenger. Desperation suplex. Man, this is one of those matches you almost gotta call hold for hold. Just witnessing these two men battle it out inside the squared circle here on Raw Halloween has been a treat. A classic wrestling matchup for the Intercontinental Championship. We are live tonight from the three arena. Dublin, Ireland continuing us on with our international tour and a blue thunder bomb. Oh, and he almost had it there. So close to a new Intercontinental Champion. That blue thunderbomb may have defeated The Miz a few weeks ago. Not enough to keep down LA Knight. But Zayn keeping the foot on the gas pedal. And what a match we are witnessing right now. LA Knight is hurt on the outside. And wait just a second. Sami Zayn up in the ante. Sammy's clearing off the announce table here. This just shows the absolute desperation that Sammy has to leave tonight as the Intercontinental Champion. What has he got in mind? LA Knight hoisted on the announce table. This is not a no disqualification match and countouts are in play. But where the hell is Sammy going? Oh my goodness, Sammy Zay to the outside. Dublin, Ireland coming unglued as Sami Zayn throws ultimate caution in the wind. Sami by will or by force will take the Intercontinental Championship from the stranglehold of LA Knight, even if it's his last breath. LA Knight somehow staggering on his feet. Sami throwing some haymakers back and forth. The pendulum momentum swings in this match, and LA Knight able to take down the challenger. How much did that moonsault take out of Sammy, as it might have took out of LA Knight as well? Second Lariat in this match. A hard hitting maneuver by the champion. And that knocks Sammy Zayn out for the three. My goodness, what a match here tonight. On Monday Night Raw, Sami Zayn throwing everything at LA Knight. But in the end, the Defiant Champion presses on and is leaving the three arena. Still your Intercontinental Champion. Man, what a match for that prestigious gold here tonight on Monday Night Raw Halloween. Here is your winner. Continental Champion, LA Knight. A great effort by Sami Zayn. But back of the line he goes as LA Knight wins and retains his Intercontinental Championship. You gotta wonder who is next for this defiant champion. Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic. The Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE Survivor Series. Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series live from MSG on November 19th.
Are we back on the air? Wait, la ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the air here on Monday Night Raw. And Becky Lynch was making her way down the aisle here in Dublin, Ireland, set for action. But she was just ambushed in the aisle way by the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Well, I got to assume the story here. Of course, as we all know, eight nights ago, a clash at the castle. Rhea Ripley defeated Becky Lynch in the middle of Principality Stadium to retain her championship. Well, word's been going around the backstage area that Becky Lynch still unsatisfied in defeat, especially because of the ambush by Rhea multiple weeks ago here on Raw. Well, it looks like Becky Lynch and all those rumors that have been swirling have gotten to the nightmare as she has elected to ambush Becky in the middle of her home country here tonight. Well, this is absolutely ridiculous. Becky Lynch was set for action here in the three arena Raw Halloween not even able to get down to the ring, and she's ambushed from behind. Real showing me the, the heart and the soul of Rhea Ripley right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a fight between the man and the eradicator. Becky trying to fight back. And next set knocks down Rhea Ripley momentarily. Well, Becky not one to turn away a challenge. Rhea wants to fight. Becky will do her best to give her a war, but Becky thrown off guard, and Rhea has completely taken advantage. This is absolutely uncalled for. Just because Becky wanted to settle things with Rhea Ripley in the ring once and for all, Rhea's not looking to wait to whenever that is, taking out Becky Lynch upon a homecoming in Dublin, Ireland tonight. An absolutely unnecessary assault by your WWE Women's Champion, the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. It's a rare Saturday Night production featuring some of the best from Raw and SmackDown. It's coming your way Saturday, November the 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The Road to Survivor Series will make a pit stop in Milwaukee for the return of Saturday night's main event. Don't miss this exciting night of action. Live November 4th at Saturday night's main event. Well, we are back inside the three arena on Monday Night Raw. And unfortunately, the homecoming of Becky Lynch being spoiled but another superstar from right here in these familiar soils set for action against the New Days, Xavier Woods. That, of course, being the Prince Finn Balor, where the Judgment Day have had a lot of recent issues with the New Day. They're looking to settle the score in the midst of this singles action tonight on Raw Halloween. And his opponent, accompanied by Damian Priest, Representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Well, about a month ago here on Raw, the New Day took down the Judgment Day in tag team action, and to make matters worse, Kofi Kingston defeating Damian Priest just a few weeks back as well. This is, of course, all coming after the events of September and Unforgiven where the Judgment Day lost their World Tag Team titles to the Brawling Brutes, a matchup we have yet to see a rematch for, but I'm sure the Judgment Day are itching for another matchup with Butch and Ridge Holland, your current WWE World Tag Team Champions. Before they could even think about a Tag Team Championship match, they gotta settle the... Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Solo Sokoa and Kevin Owens backstage here at the Three Arena. Solo looks like he's laying out Owens. The hell is going on tonight? Absolute chaos here on Raw Halloween, and Solo is throwing Kevin Owens from pillar to post. Well, you gotta believe Solo absolutely infuriated that after he opened up the window of opportunity to get a chance at the WWE title, Kevin Owens was pinned earlier tonight, taking away that chance. Now, wait a minute. Try to put Owens through the table, just like he did to Bobby Lashley, or at least similar to. Owens trying to avoid it, but Solo Sokoa clearly with the upper hand off an ambush over the prize fighter. There's absolute chaos here tonight on Raw. First Rhea and Becky moments ago. Now this between Solo and KO. 
Somebody's got to gain some control as Kevin Owens is now in the grasp of the street champ. And through the table to the concrete floor. Solo Sokoa taking issue with the prize fighter Kevin Owens. And Owens just felt the worst of it. I, I don't even know what to say. This has been an absolutely... It's been a monumental night to say the least. And we're far from over. Deadly Games Eliminator kicking off one hell of an Intercontinental Championship match earlier on. Still a lot more to come, but so much chaos in the in between of all the anarchy in the arena to say the least tonight. Nonetheless, let's just try to focus in on the action at hand. Finn Balor from right here in Ireland. Xavier Woods representing the New Day. And all the issues between these two teams as of late. Which is really just a simple issue of wins and losses and two teams trying to stake their claim for a future tag team championship opportunity. We have said in recent weeks that Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston out to remind everybody just what the hell they are capable of. One of the reasons why they are the most decorated tag team of all time, trying to show the world that they still got a lot left in the tank and they're looking to climb the ranks all over again and challenge for the World Tag Team titles in the near future. As we were mentioned, as the Judgment Day was making their way down the aisle, Balor and Priest losing the gold. A month and change ago at Unforgiven, yet to get that rematch with Butch and Ridge Holland, and a big reason for that is the bumpy road they've been on with the New Day. Finn Balor gets a win tonight. Maybe the Judgment Day could start to turn things around, but... Not talk that into the future. Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston have been a little bit of an X factor for the Judgment Day as of late. One they have yet to figure out. Right now, Xavier Woods. Hoping that issue in the black and purple locker room is going to keep up. Rhea Ripley obviously taking care of her business moments ago. Let's see if Balor can take care of his. Xavier Woods off the Shining Wizard to the back of the dome. Not just yet, Balor still into it. Again, Damian Priest singles loss to Kofi Kingston a few weeks ago. The New Day own a tag team victory of the Judgment Day as well. Remember Balor and Priest, part of that gauntlet matchup against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus last month of the season premiere edition of Monday Night Raw, both coming up short in that match. Balor and Priest have just been on a bumpy road to say the least as of late. Not a lot of good luck for the two men of the Judgment Day. Let's see if Finn Balor can turn things around Fighting out of familiar soils tonight. Wait a minute. Woods hoisted in the air and dropped right of the crown of his head. Simple, effective, and Finn Balor gets the job done in short order fashion tonight. Well, Xavier Woods giving Balor a fight, but in the end, there was no waste in motion. The Prince came in with a game plan and he executed it to absolute perfection. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! Well, after the rough month and change it has been for the Judgment Day, you gotta believe that's a confidence booster for Damian Priest and the man with the victory tonight, Finn Balor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got some breaking news. Survivor Series continues to get more and more interesting. Tyler Bate recently picked up two victories over the WWE Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins. But get this, if Tyler Bate can do it again next week, then regardless of who wins the Deadly Games Eliminator, it will be a triple threat match, including Tyler Bate at Survivor Series. High stakes, high reward next week in St. Louis, Missouri. And also signed for next Monday night, Carmelo Hayes back in action. And get this, his opponent will be that trade compensation that we have been waiting on from Friday night SmackDown to Monday night Raw. Of course, that is a trade compensation for Ilya Dragunov after his move to the blue brand. Man, Raw shaping up to be huge next week in St. Louis, Missouri. But first things first, this Saturday night, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, we are heading to the Forum live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the special joint Raw and SmackDown production of Saturday night's main event, where we will determine who is at least one of the challengers now that we know that Tyler Bate is in the fold for the WWE title November the 19th at Survivor Series. My goodness, what a action-packed, hot and heavy, news-filled night it has been here at the Three Arena in Dublin, Ireland.
Raw Halloween is going down in the record books, and we are not done just yet. It is main event time here in Dublin, and it is the final triple threat matchup to see who fights the Celtic Warrior Sheamus this Saturday night in Milwaukee at the Deadly Games Eliminator Finals. First things first, the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross, making his way down the aisle. And you know Cross is going to be hell-bent on victory after what happened seven nights ago. It was last week on Raw in the O2 in London. Tommaso Ciampa, Karrion and Cross looking to settle their issues one-on-one -on -one in a London street fight. And boy, did they beat each other pillar to post in this matchup. But in the end, Tommaso Ciampa using not one but two tables as his crutch for victory. There you see Karrion Cross crashing through the wood and Tommaso Ciampa taking the fullest advantage. The one, two, most importantly the three, and the black heart. Tommaso Ciampa leaving the O2 Arena last Monday night with a victory over the man covered in red right now. And of course we found out just moments before that O2 matchup last week between Cross and Ciampa, excuse me, that those two would be competing in this triple threat match alongside Shinsuke Nakamura. You gotta believe they had both of that in, they had that in mind, I should say, both of them during that matchup last week, thinking they wanna get the momentum towards this triple threat match tonight. The momentum has gotta be on the side of Tommaso Ciampa. But is the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross now more motivated than ever? After that loss last week and after a few WWE Championship matches passed through his fingers throughout the summer, is Karrion Cross finally about to work his way back to number one contendership starting here tonight? I still can't believe the news we found out moments ago. Tyler Bate now getting added to the equation as if the WWE Championship situation at Survivor Series hasn't already been complicated. Now, Sheamus could be the one, could be one of these three men. Tyler Bate has an opportunity to make it a triple threat. So many courses of action regarding that matchup November the 19th in Madison Square Garden. But as for tonight, will it be the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura making his way to Milwaukee? And his opponents, first from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Remember just a few weeks ago on Raw, Shinsuke Nakamura, a fill-in opponent for Bobby Lashley against Apollo Crews after Lashley was ambushed in the aisleway by the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Something that Bobby Lashley has been on the receiving end a lot of as of late. Ambushes from Lesnar, the match with Lesnar, a clash of the castle. And of course, what happened last week in London with Sola Sokoa, the whole reason we have this Deadly Games Eliminator here tonight. And I still can't believe, moments ago, Sola Sokoa now ambushing Kevin Owens in the backstage area because Kevin Owens, I assume, well, I'm assuming this is the reason, was pinned earlier tonight and now Solo's mad at him. Somebody's got to get some chaos in the Monday Night Raw locker room. I should say bring chaos to a fold. There's so much happening tonight, I can't even speak clearly. Nonetheless... Nakamura ready, Karrion Cross ready. We need one final participant for this triple threat affair here in Dublin, Ireland. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. You know, Tommaso Ciampa is somebody who has been on the rise on Monday Night Raw for months. Remember that feud with Solo Sokoa? Things really got down to a bitter, broken end between those two men. Champa last month at Unforgiven, defeating Solo in that Falls Count Anywhere matchup. Just last week, you saw the highlights taking down Kerry and Cross in the London street fight. Champa has been pushed to his limit in some of the most extreme conditions and has come out on the other end. Will tonight be Champa's night to take the next step? All remains to be seen, three viable contenders. The winner of this matchup meets Sheamus this Saturday night, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 5 p.m. Eastern time at Saturday night's main event. Tommaso Ciampa may be the smartest man in the ring right now, held his ground until Karrion Cross tried to strike first and Ciampa met him with that bicycle knee. We saw how chaotic that opening match got between Kevin Owens, Sol Sokoa, and of course the winner, Sheamus. God only knows what's going to be on hand between Cross, Nakamura, and Ciampa. And again, there's almost so much action to keep up with tonight. So much news. Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch, their situation breaking down here in the middle of Dublin, Ireland earlier tonight. We've seen Sol Sokoa ambush Kevin Owens backstage. 
Souls and Koa's action is the whole reason we are having this Deadly Games Eliminator here tonight. Now, of course, the news that just broke moments ago. Next week on Raw, we are back in the States, St. Louis, Missouri. Tyler Bate will go one-on-one -on -one with Seth freaking Rollins. And if Tyler Bate can defeat Rollins one-on-one, -on -one, he will earn himself a spot in the WWE Championship match Sunday night, November the 19th at Survivor Series. Which will then make that one-on-one -on -one match a triple threat matchup. It just adds another extra layer of difficulty for all the men still left in this Deadly Games Eliminator. We could be looking at one of the men right now, or possibly it will be Sheamus that will be involved in possible triple threat match at Madison Square Garden. What was originally supposed to be Lashley and Rollins has broken down into a locker room. Absolute free-for-all, trying to take advantage of the opportunity. Nonetheless, who's going to reach up and grab the brass ring? Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, is certainly going to have a lot of writing on the WWE Championship matchup. Nonetheless, Karrion Cross, the only man standing momentarily, and Nakamura, big time Nita Champa. Again, as we mentioned the last time we saw Shinsuke Nakamura in action, it was just a few weeks ago, picking up the W over Apollo Crews inside the squared circle. No love lost between the Harbinger of Doom and the Black Heart. Champa with another victory over Cross last week in that London street fight in a situation that started over a month ago when Cross defeated, or I should say Champa defeated Cross in singles action. Champa really with the momentum over the man in the black and the gold. But will Carry and Cross bounce back tonight? Will he use those losses as motivation to drive him to the finals of the Deadly Game Eliminator this Saturday? All remains to be seen as Tommaso Ciampa now throwing haymakers, beating down on Karrion Cross, picking up where he left off seven nights ago in the 0-2. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum swings all throughout this matchup in a big time discus lariat. Tommaso Ciampa sending Shinsuke Nakamura and for that matter, Karrion Cross's head into the fifth row. Gets the two count there, close call. Champa had both competitors down, but unfortunately not able to see a conclusion. Champa breaking the difference that time and just going back to the well with what works. But don't turn your back on this dangerous, sinister destroyer known as Carrion Cross. Talk about all the chaos that has been. Raw Halloween here in Dublin. What about the Intercontinental Championship match earlier tonight? Sami Zayn so close to accomplishing his goal of winning that championship. I, I still can't believe throwing caution in the wind, that massive moonsault from the top rope down to the floor, breaking through the announce table to LA Knight. But unfortunately for Sami Zayn, LA Knight just got that lariat in for the second time and was able to knock Sami out long enough to retain the Intercontinental Championship. So before, I'll say it again, Raw Halloween 2023 going down in the record books is one of the most chaotic, Anarchy in the arena type nights. That's all we can really describe it as. I don't know. I know it's October 30th. I know it's mischief night. Maybe we can blame it all on that. Nonetheless, Nakamura Champa Cross. I'm sure Sheamus has got his eyes locked on this matchup to see who is going to be his opponent when these superstars are back in the States this Saturday night. Well, right now it is the three arena. It is Dublin, Ireland. It is week two of an international tour on the road to Survivor Series, Sunday night, November the 19th. And Seth Rollins waits in the wind for who his WWE Championship challenger is gonna be. Originally thought it was gonna be Bobby Lashley. Then Lashley got taken out. Then six Raw superstars given an opportunity. So far, Sheamus has advanced to Saturday night's main event this weekend. One of these three men will meet him there. And of course, next week on Raw, Tyler Bate with a chance to absolutely seize the opportunity. If he can defeat Seth Rollins for a third time, he will join the WWE Championship matchup, regardless of who wins the Deadly Games Eliminator, making it a triple threat at Survivor Series. Wait a minute, carrying Cross. Look at this. My goodness. Champa face first. What do you want to call that? An F10? And almost had him there. Cross half a second away from making a trip to Milwaukee. And not to disarray from the action inside the squared circle, but again, Tyler Bate owns two victories over Seth Rollins. And some may be questioning why Tyler Bate needs to defeat Rollins again to challenge him to the WWE Championship. Remember eight nights ago, 
Tyler Bay had a chance to take down LA Knight for the Intercontinental title at Clash at the Castle. Unfortunately failed to do so. So Tyler Bay, those championship, I should say those victories over the champion in Seth Rollins, not necessarily going by the wayside, but if he wants a shot at Rollins, he's got to earn it once more. Everybody's scratching and clawing for opportunity. But who is going to take the fullest advantage? Will it be one of these three men? A part of the WWE title matchup at Survivor Series. Tommaso Ciampa. Big time neckbreaker carrying cross face first off the canvas. Things are breaking down. This is absolute chaos in this triple threat match. The fatigue's got to start to set in at some point. Who's going to be the last man standing? And who's going to have it in him long enough to, to be able to secure, secure a three count? Excuse me. Nakamura seems to be the man with the wheel spinning right now. Taking down Champa, immediately turns his sight to cross. Will the king of strong style take the next step on Monday Night Raw? He's had a couple of opportunities this year at the Intercontinental Championship. Did not go Nakamura's way. Remember, he was a participant as well as Tommaso Ciampa. Back in July in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup, the matchup Seth Rollins won, which propels him to win the WWE Championship a month later at SummerSlam. Momentum is just swinging from corner to corner to corner in this match. Just like that, Nakamura was in control of the ring, now Karrion Cross takes it. Also coming your way next week in St. Louis, Missouri. Remember Carmelo Hayes is gonna be back in action on Monday Night Raw with a mystery opponent. Ilya Dragunov, former Raw superstar, won the Cruiserweight Classic earlier this month, which sent him to Friday Night SmackDown. He will challenge Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight title in the near future, but trade compensation from SmackDown to Raw was promised. And finally next week, we're gonna decide who that is. Who is gonna fight Carmelo Hayes next week? Not wait to get to St. Louis, and not to disregard that, but I think the referee just got caught in the line of fire. Wait a minute, and it might come back to haunt, unfortunately, Karrion Cross, who's got that cross jacket locked in, or that straight jacket, I should say, on Nakamura, and there's no referee to see if Shinsuke had a, enough left in him. The referee just getting caught in the crossfires of the chaos that is this matchup here, and it might have tossed Karrion Cross that time. High knee to Champa, and now turns his sights to Shinsuke Nakamura yet again. But a fisherman buster, and Nakamura's down momentarily. Referee is back to his feet. Luckily, Champa takes advantage, knocks Nakamura outside the squared circle. Tommaso goes behind off the reversal. Kick to the gut. Wait a minute. Champa, fairy tale ending on Karrion Cross. The referee, a little bit slow to get the three count here. Still trying to get his wits about him, and unfortunately, that may have just cost Champa. Oh my goodness, well Champa almost had Cross, Nakamura starting a rally at ringside, and the matchup propels forward. Who is going to have it in him as Nakamura gets knocked off his feet yet again? Tommaso Champa hung up in the top rope, big time counter by the Harbinger of Doom. Will that do it? And Karrion Cross so close. Who is going to fight Sheamus again live this Saturday night? Saturday night's main event, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Sheamus waits in the winds as Karrion Cross is dazed and Nakamura with a King Shasta there, but Tommaso Ciampa not even allowing a one count. Nakamura might have thrown his best shot, but not able to take advantage because of the extra body in this match. Man, just like that, that really shows you the dangers of a triple threat matchup. You gotta watch your back at all times. Nakamura might have had this thing had it not been for the extra set of legs. Oh, wait a minute, Nakamura is dazed, and Champ is looking to take advantage of a damaged Harbinger of Doom. A second fairy tale ending. And Tommaso Champa is heading back home to Milwaukee this Saturday night. What a victory! Tommaso Ciampa continues to climb the ranks of Monday Night Raw. Back-to-back -back main event victories and sticking it to the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross yet again. What a main event and what a win for the Blackheart of Monday Nights. Here is your winner, Tommaso Ciampa. Well, there you see it, ladies and gentlemen. 
Four bodies have fallen by the wayside here tonight in Dublin, Ireland. This Saturday night, back in the States, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, it is Saturday night's main event, and it'll be the Celtic Warrior Sheamus battling the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, to challenge for the WWE Championship, November the 19th, at Survivor Series. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, will that WWE title matchup in Madison Square Garden become a triple threat as next week in St. Louis, Tyler Bate battles the champion himself, Seth freaking Rollins, with a spot in the WWE title match in Madison Square Garden on the line. Thank you for joining us for this epic Raw Halloween. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.